Hey. Um, okay, cool. I think that's working. Let me know in the chat if the sound is bad or music too loud or anything. So we're trying a new called the restream. So we're just trying to yeah stream to different platforms so you can pick and choose. PCB for the drone, should I say? A drone PCB controller. Uh, Chris asked us or suggested we should do this. I'm no, I am no professional drone maker. I can make PCBs and electronics, but to be honest with drones, I don't know too much. So help will be appreciated. I will use Google, of course, and things like that. Um, but yeah, but I think initially to start with the schematic, I'm thinking about using an ESP32 as a controller. I don't know if anyone has a different opinion on that. I like the ESP. I know it. So I think we're going to start off with the schematic, pull the circuit, and then of course, then go to the PCB. But I'm sure we'll need some motor drivers and all the things for the PID loops. Let's get started. How are you guys doing? How's your Sundays? So the ESP32 is basically a chip like this. Uh, it's got Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, everything inside. <laughs> so Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, uh, not a bad price, about three euros. I've been using it for all my projects. Uh, I really like this chip. Uh, you can uh, so we've got, so I'm just basically gonna put all the components out, what I think we'll use. Please guys, as I mentioned, just tell me. Hey Krish. Uh, we need a USB. I'll probably use a USB C. USB no USB B. Hey Arun. Um, no no no. We 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 want to build a drone PCB. But now we're thinking about are we going to just make the PCB speak to the ECSs? So four separate ECSs, and then my PCB will just control that. Or are we going to put the controlling circuit on the PCB as well? Because then you need some power, power distribution and stuff. Um, I'm just thinking, like this one's nice and small. It's got the motors. It's got the H bridges that's required. So we can try do this. Um, just need some bigger MOSFETs. We just do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Flip a coin. <laughs> No, no, wait, just flip a coin. Let's see what happens here. Flip again, okay. So heads, we keep it simple. Tails, we're gonna build everything on one PCB to control the motors. So tails, complex, heads, simple. Ah, oh, okay, cool. We're gonna do a complex, I guess. So what the stats ID does is, this is gonna charge my battery but you don't want it to charge when the battery's full. So the stat LED will go off when your battery's fully charged, just to show that the battery's fully charged, and this controller will control all the charging. That is important to know. Um, so you see, I can connect this either there, or I can connect it to another ground at the bottom to same. So if I add this, there, it's the same, it's exactly the same. So if ever you see the same name, it means it's connected. So we got the V bus that comes in from the USB. Um, so it's gonna charge my battery. So when I plug it in to my USB, this V bus is gonna charge my, my battery. Um, the stat is just the indicator to say, listen here, my battery's either being charged or it's fully charged. And this programming is how you program it to, the, to how much current you want to push through to the battery and then it will control everything this little chip these guys so what I do with TX this is probably one mistake every single person I know that starts with electronics makes is your TX and RX swapping around I've done it many times and I'll probably still do it so your TX of one device needs to go to the RX of the other device. That makes sense, but I've done it many times incorrect. So this TX sends information that this RX must get. So don't connect this TX to that TX. Oh, very nice, yeah. What is going on here, man? I need a PDF, easier. So you can see TX is actually connected to RX. 
So this is how they can talk to each other. TX means transmit, RX means receive. Practice, and the other one is if I make, ever make a mistake, I can short it manually. That's the biggest reason. That is the best solution. Gary used to work for a company, uh, yeah, like a startup vibe. And when they got stuck on something, they got, the boss was like, yeah, let's go to the pub, have one drink and come back. And it works at some time, so good luck. So it's always good practice just to put decoupling caps wherever you have voltage towards an IC. Yeah, so pulled up with a button. So when you pull the reset down, the, the so when you push the button or the switch, then the chip will reset. Okay. Thought I was getting crazy. I shot I'm using auto download, so that's why I got these transistors here. I don't like the buttons. We bought a module with the buttons and then I never know which one to push and I just stopped pushing all of them. Uh, auto auto download I prefer. Just a simple voltage divider. Um, the Arduino pins can only read, I think, three Arduino. The ESP can only really read 3.3 volts, and my battery can be 4.2 volts. So we add a voltage divider, divided by two. So full battery will give you 2.1 volts. Depending with what analog to digital conversion this pin is, I'm 8 bit or 12 bit, so I'm not too sure actually. Will depend what value we'll have for the code, and then yeah. But that's not important now. So basically, this V bat can be 4.2 volts maximum. And then we've got two resistors that are the same value. So that the volt drop or the voltage there will be 2.1. It's just a voltage divider. If they're the same value, it's divided by two. Different values will get different results. Guys, if I mention a term that you don't know what it is, please just say so. Um, like decoupling capacitors, voltage dividers, things like that. Guys, I think we've done it. So we got the ESP, we got our USB, battery charger, voltage regulator, accelerometer. I might add another one or non access. I just have to double check if this one can do our trick. And then we've got the H bridge with controller motors and the motors itself. Have a good week. And yeah, please, guys, if you have any questions, you know, guys know where to contact me, Discord, uh, anywhere. I think my number's even there somewhere. Um, yeah, think about what we need to add. Maybe the camera, we can always add. I'll send this schematic through to you guys on Discord so you guys can add and things. Thanks for joining, guys. Really appreciate it. It's fun just chatting while doing this stuff. And yeah, good luck with your exams, Krish. I hope all goes well. And enjoy guys, have a good week, be the best you can be, cheers guys.